Hello students, in this chapter we will read about crop production and management. After hearing this chapter name, what things first come into your mind? That is food. Why do we need food students? Because all living things need food. Because food provides energy for our body to do work. And it is also needed for the growth and the repair of damaged and worn out tissues. And food is important to us because it provides us with nutrients, water and also dietary fibers. The students, from where we get the food? Yes, agriculture. The word agriculture is derived from the two Latin words agri that means field and culture that means cultivation. So you can say in a very simple definition it is an applied science that deals with the mass production of crop plants and animals useful to human beings. What is the main purpose of agriculture? Its main purpose is to produce goods such as food grains, milk, vegetables and etc. Now, what is horticulture? This is the another branch. The word horticulture comes from two Latin words, hortus and collar, which means garden culture. It is a branch of agriculture that deals with certain features involving utilization of fruits, vegetables, flowers and other plants. Now we will read about crop. The question is what is crop? What is crop? So when plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, it is called a crop. For example, wheat means that all the plants grown in a field are that of wheat. So this is the definition of crop. There are two types of crop, rabi crops and kharif crops. So what is rabi crops? They are generally planted in November and harvested in the month of April. Wheat, barley, pea, gram are the examples. Again I am repeating, they are generally planted in November month and harvested in the month of April. And examples are gram, pea, wheat and etc. Now another crop is kharif crops. They are generally planted in the month of June and harvested in the month of October. Some examples of kharif crops are rice, maize, cotton and groundnuts are the examples of kharif crops. Now as we all know India is an agriculture country and most of our people earn their living from agriculture produce. So a farmer performs the following task for cultivation of crop. These are also called agricultural practices. It includes many of them. We will study one by one. Now see, it will start from preparation of soil, then sowing, then manure and fertilizers, then irrigation, then protecting from weeds, then harvesting, then storage and again further cycle will go on. So here is the first agriculture practice that is preparation of soil and it includes plowing and labeling. The name of plowing is tilling. So what will be the tilling? So the process of loosening and the turning of soil is called tilling and this process is done by a tool that we know as plow and they are made up of wood or iron and it allows the root to penetrate deeper easily. This is an agricultural implement tool that is hoe and its labelled parts are grip, handle, beam, rod and band plate. Another tool is called plough and its labelled parts are beam, plough shaft and plough shear. The plough shear is curved to turn the soil after cutting as we can see in the figure. Now this is another agriculture practice that we called selection and sowing of seeds. This is the most important stage in crop production. Plants grow from seeds. There are two methods for sowing the seeds. First 
is broadcasting. This is also called traditional method of sewing. As you can see that the traditional tool for sewing seeds is shaped like a funnel having two or three vertical long tubes with sharp ends and the seeds are fitted into the funnel passed down through the pipes with sharp ends and the sharp ends pierce the soil and place the seeds there. So this is the traditional method. Now this is the another method which we are using for the sowing of seeds that is seed drill. This is the modern method which we are using nowadays. Why we are using this method over traditional method? So here are the some reasons. So some advantages of seed drill are it puts the seed in the soil at a plant soil depth every time and it measures the seed out for the right spacing between seeds and it plants the right amount of seed without wasting seed. It plants the right amount of seed without wasting seed and it packs soil around the seed to get good seed to soil content. So these are the advantages so why we are using a seed drill over traditional tool. Now the another agriculture practice is replenishing nutrients. Why it is required? Because soil minerals lost through crop harvest and are typically replenished by the addition of those minerals as minerals fertilizer. So we are using different different types of manure and fertilizers for maintaining the soil fertility. So as we all know fertilizer is an organic soil that means it is made in the factories. And manure, it is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of a cattle dung, human waste and plant residues. And fertilizer is prepared in factories and the manure is prepared in fields. Next, a fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil. So it is not beneficial for long time. But manure provides a lot of humus to the soil. Fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium or in short we say NPK. Same as manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients. So fertilizers are non-biodegradable therefore they cause soil pollution. So, they are not good for the long time. Now here is the another method for maintaining soil fertility that is crop rotation. Crop rotation is the method of growing different crops alternately on the same field. Ek hi field par jab hum bar bar alag crops ko alternate karke grow karte hai so that it process is called crop rotation. See vegetable crops grown in different areas of garden in succession in consecutive years and it changes type of plant grow on a particular piece of land from year to year or season to season. Next method for maintaining soil fertility is mixed cropping. What is mixed cropping students? So see, it is growing two or more crops simultaneously on a same piece of land and it reduces risk and give some insurance against failure of one crop and there is no definite pattern of sowing. We can sow in any pattern. Mein so kar sakte. There is not a particular pattern. An example like wheat and gram, wheat and mustard or groundnut and sunflower. So in this way we can grow the crops. Now the another agriculture practice is irrigation. What is an irrigation? We will talk in simpler words that means proper watering of a crop at the right time is called irrigation or the artificial application of water to land to assist in the production of crop. As we all know water is important for the proper growth and development of flowers, fruits and seeds of plant and water is absorbed by the roots. So along with water, minerals and fertilizers are also absorbed. Water dissolves nutrients which 
are transported to each part of the plant and it also protects the crop from both frost and hot air currents. Now there are two methods of irrigation. First is sprinkler irrigation. So it is the method of applying water to the soil surface in the form of spray which is somewhat similar to rain. Sprinkler system जो होता है वो बिल्कुल बारिश की तरह काम करता है और हम कह सकते हैं कि स्प्रे के फॉर्म में वर्क करता है Here rotating sprinkler head systems are commonly used for sprinkler irrigation from which can get the water in each and every corner. Now the another method is drip irrigation. It is also known as trickle irrigation. Means, boon boon kar kar. Next, applied in the form of it has flexible pipelines operating at low pressure and applied to plant through drip nozzles. And it is also a boon in regions where less water is available. मतलब जहाँ पानी की कमी हो वहाँ ये वरदान के रूप में साबित होता है